today I will do a little review of this guy here, the T10S. This is the basic model. It, it does not have any quick release, but you need a, an insect hex wrench. And it has the 50 degree field of view. There is another model with the 25 degree field of view. This one has a picketing rail attachment. It goes onto the picketing rail here. It will not go onto a weaver rail because it needs the 5 millimeter space between them. So let's look now how it will work. This device has four color modes. I need to go into the shadow, I think. There. I'm in the shadow. Okay, it has four color modes. So this is like full color where hot is white and the coldest gets black. Uh, the sun is shining on the building. See there, occasionally it freezes up a second. Now we'll take another mode which is um, white hot. Sky gets black. Now we take black hot. Sky gets white. And here we have like night vision, green, and back to full color. Now, there, as you see in the middle, there is a reticle. That's, when you put it on the gun, that's for aiming. It's adjustable. I actually had to move it one click left to get it to aim right in my gun. And you can turn it off like that by holding the lower button in for two seconds. If you hold the, the lower button in briefly, you change color mode. If you hold it in for two seconds, you turn on the reticle or turn off the reticle. And if you hold it in for five seconds, you get to the menu. And then you'll have to go through the menu and press the upper button to get out of this again. So, and the other thing is that here you have a greater range of colors. You, you don't, you can, in the black hot and white hot and green, you can run into the condition, you have a small spot that is very hot or very cold in relation to the surrounding, but it gets the same color black or white or green as it were and uh, you don't see it I noticed that when I was trying out the aiming feature so in here you have a more a wider selection of colors and a small spot that's very different in color is more likely to appear in this one this is what it looks like in real life All right, so let's check this inside now. Now you see it works outside. All right, we're gonna do a test now and I'm gonna be in front of this device. So I'll keep this on uh, predator mode as I call it here, because that gives you the biggest thermal range. Now, you see I'm pretty hot in my eyes and. That's really where most of the heat is going out. So let me take on safety glasses, shooting glasses. And voila, that's gone. So I'm now like four meters away. And here I have a bucket of cold water, a cup of hot coffee, no sugar. If I want to hide, there is a way. I just have to use an invisibility cloak. This is that thin, the thermal blanket. 
And as you see, the thermal energy doesn't go through it. But I can still see through it. I can still see the camera. Gone. And here I am. So let's see that without... Well, we can actually put them to the two side by side like this. You see the blanket? And it's hiding. Now you see me, and now you don't. This is the same thing in white hot, under the thermal blanket with glasses on. Peekaboo! Now we're outside in the night. Now let's see how it works on a gun. This thing here mounts on the Picatinny rail and uh, I'll put it rather far forward because that gives me more distance from the eye so I don't have to focus on such short distance but can see more of the target at the same time. And if it's not exactly right on target you can adjust this reticle the following way, open the menu, and here you go down with that button and select with that button. So you go down here to this one, select it, and then you go down to horizontal or vertical as you need. And I have it on minus one in horizontal. Here we have the hot metal plate as a target and there you go target eliminated I'm gonna show the shot several times forward and reverse now look at the barrel how it gets heated up immediately shot and it's hot now reverse one more time now I also have a, a cold target here the cold water bottle to show you the thermal signature of it and we can get to focus all right and I'll turn off the cursor to so you see it better you see here the you first you see the barrel the the silencer of the gun and uh, because I just shot with it it's a bit warm and then you see underneath in front of it you see the the kind of warm plate, it's getting cold, cold already, and the cold water bottle which is blue and even black. Now let's also go through the different modes here. We have the white hot, the black hot. As a side note, see how the cold is reflected in the aluminum silencer. And also, you see how the cold air is running down from the bottle and making it cold below it on the sides. The green and the predator mode, full color. And let's say we want to shoot that cold water bottle. We have to turn on the cursor. There you go. And aim. And hit target eliminate. 